Hey YouTube, welcome to another video with Drew Brew. I am super excited today to bring you this newly designed bearing and guess what it is? It is a 608 3D printable bearing. Wow, right? So you guys can practically use this for anywhere that you need a 608 bearing. Uh, I would not recommend commercial use. <laughs> but anyways, this thing can take a lot of weight. Let me just show you. I printed a rod for this thing and uh, let me show you how much weight it can take. Like our axle kind of. Uh, you print two bearings, you print the rod, and you have uh, an easier way to roll out your bearings, that way they're smoother. And actually, these bearings and all the bearings I've used in my previous videos, I have used no lube. So the way they spin, you add a little lube, they will spin probably much better. All right, I just don't have any, so I just make them as good as I can so that they can spin and work right out the print. All right, let me just show you. This is no weight. This is a, a bit of weight. This is a bunch of weight, all right? Look at this, it's holding up, not locking up. Might be scratching my table, I don't know. Look at that, scratch it. This is a insanely awesome pairing. Uh, let me just show you a little history on so, this. It all started today with uh, version zero. Uh, I just like version zero because it's like, you know, patient zero. Uh, but anyways, version zero, I was like, you know what? I have these bearings that I made and they're functional and they're great, but hey, why not try to make a bearing that everyone's already using, but in the 3D printed style? So I designed this and I was like, oh, it's gonna work based on my past experience because I'm such a pro. And I printed it and it stuck and I didn't even try to get it work because I'm like, okay, I can already see how I can improve it. So after that, I designed this little rod to help me smooth out these things uh, and designed version one. And I was pretty confident this would work but it took me about maybe 10 to 15 minutes to get it to work. I, used to, I had to use the heat gun. Uh, I had to, you know, play with it, you know, tell it I love it. And it finally got, got it to work. However, I was like, well, you know, I don't think people on Thingiverse or wherever other websites want to print something and play with it for 20 minutes before they can get it to work. So let me try to make a little bit better. Uh, so there comes version two. I printed this. Or rather, I designed this, and I said, this is great, this is definitely gonna work, but let me just try one more thing. So I designed that at the same time, I printed both of these simultaneously, and uh, so right when they finished printing, I took this off the bed, I tried to spin it, and it did not go. So I'm like, okay, I put it to the side, and I got version three, and it spun right off the bat. So that was great. Uh, I did, however, go back, and I did make version two work, I uh, actually made it into an oval for a few seconds and then <clears throat> I spun it out again to make it into a circle. So yeah, he gun does crazy things with PLA. Uh, but yeah, version three, this is what you guys all came for, right? Uh, this thing is fully functional. It's a replacement 608 bearing. It has a 22 millimeters outer, eight millimeter bore, and it's seven millimeters wide. So you guys can print this at home right now. You don't have to wait for shipping from China <laughs> or any other place and you can work it with your project. So I hope you guys like it. You're welcome. I love you guys. <laughs> and hey, if you can support me via PayPal, because I do post these designs for free, I would really appreciate it. You guys have a great time and keep on printing.